Hey everyone, it is Vincent, and I am now officially one year on testosterone. I've waited years to finally say that. So majority of this video will basically compose uh, my timeline, probably I'll include some comparison pictures and videos, and pretty much everything I, that I want to include that involve my transition. So I'll see you on the other side of the video. This is Vincent and I am one month on T. God, it feels so good to finally say that. Yo, what's up? Hello. It is Vincent here with my two months on T video update. It's my monthly mark on T and currently I am on my third. This is Vincent, and I am four months on testosterone. Hey everyone, it is Vincent, and this is my five months on tea video. Today is my six month on T mark and I don't have that much change. What's going on you guys? It is Vincent here and today is my seven months on T mark. Today is my eight months on T mark. Today is my 9 months.
accounts on Tmark. As of today, I am 10 months on testosterone. It's the second day of the month and I am officially one month away from my one year on team mark. See that line, I never should have crossed it Stop right there, I never should have said that It's the very moment that I wish that I could take back I'm oh, sorry for the person I became I'm oh, sorry that it took so long for me to change I'm ready to be sure I never Overwhelming, right? Or is it just me? So I just really wanted to say how grateful I am for reaching this far, for everyone who have supported me, especially my girlfriend, my friends, my support group, my family, who I am out to. Well, everyone who supported me all the way. My journey would have been the same without you guys. I mean, it's crazy how much you can learn in just a span of one year on T. I can honestly say that I've grown as a person learned how to deal with things or challenges that I wouldn't have known how to deal with them back then. I've learned to accept many things that I can never change. One thing that I want you guys to know that has helped me change my perception in life and pretty much helped me all, the, all throughout my transition is to never depend your happiness on things that you can never control. There are some of you guys who watch videos like this and you get frustrated because you just can't wait to start your own experience but you just can't right now for whatever reason that you have and I want you guys to know that it's okay I know because I've been there you know do everything necessary to be who you truly are and if it gets difficult look for people whom you can trust to help you just don't let yourself be in a place wherein you know that you cannot be happy in it because if you keep all those negative feelings inside of you it's gonna eat you up and we don't want that okay I sound like a motivational speaker right now but I'm not okay but really it's true when they say that if you put your mind into something that you really want to get chances are you're gonna get it just don't be afraid to be who you truly are I wish someone told me that sooner but I'm really happy with where I am right now I want to end this video with my favorite part from a poem that one of my favorite teachers introduced to us back in high school. It's entitled The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost.
it goes like this. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference.